What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to give you guys some quick Atlanta Falcons news. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. If you'd like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. If you'd like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jew Talk Sports. And if you'd like to be a part of my Jew Talk Sports membership, you can hit that join tab here on the channel as well. But with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So today in Atlanta Falcons news, the Atlanta Falcons have uh, released a uh, linebacker, Michael Walker. Um, I do wish Michael Walker uh, nothing but the best and happy trails. Um, this really isn't a surprise cut. Um, as far as them releasing Michael Walker, being that Michael Walker um, just doesn't fit this scheme. Personally, I don't believe he fits Ryan Nielsen's scheme. Uh, Ryan Nielsen, in the type of scheme that we run, is a very aggressive downhill attacking defense. And Michael Walker um, isn't a linebacker that really attacks. He's a guy that kind of sits back um, and lets things come to him. He's not really a guy that goes downhill. And I'm not really surprised to see him get cut. Um, I really I really thought that the Atlanta Falcons were going to bring back uh, Rashawn Evans, who played uh, with our Atlanta Falcons last season. He was our leading tackler because to me, he kind of fit the mold of this Ryan Nielsen scheme as far as his mentality to be a downhill type linebacker, a guy that will fill holes in the run game, a guy that uh, wasn't afraid of contact, wasn't afraid to you know shed offensive linemen and go make plays in the backfield and to me that's really not Michael Walker's game to be honest uh, he's not a aggressive downhill type linebacker and to play in this Ron Nielsen scheme they're looking for linebackers that's going to be downhill and if you look at guys like Troy Anderson if you look at guys like Caden Ellis that came over from the New Orleans Saints and then if you look at that New Orleans Saints defense that Ron Nielsen was a part of uh, that coaching staff uh, guys like Demario Davis, who's one of the better linebackers in the game, and a guy who's really a downhill type linebacker. Um, if you look at Pete Warner, a linebacker that also plays with the New Orleans Saints, those guys, they believe in playing downhill, playing fast. And that just wasn't, um, you know, Michael Walker's game. So with that being said, um, I do wish Michael Walker nothing but the best. Um, he did have his best season with our Atlanta Falcons last year, where he had over 100 tackles. Uh, but he still just wasn't a, a scheme fit. And that's the reason we seen earlier today that they brought in um, Frank uh, Ganda because he's a guy that's more of a downhill linebacker. He fits this scheme um, more than Ryan Nielsen as far as being aggressive and being a downhill type linebacker. So I wasn't surprised uh, when seeing this cut of Michael Walker. Uh, I did think that he would at least make it down to the last cuts when we cut down to the 53 man roster i did think they'll at least get uh, would at least have given him to the end of the preseason to see if he improved throughout the preseason but i believe because they were able to go out and sign frank ganda a guy that they feel like fits the scheme better and because we have so many um great safeties on this team you know we have guys that can actually play that big nickel linebacker with uh jalen hawkins uh with guys like um, Helms on this team, DeMarco Helms. We have guys that are physical linebackers or uh, hybrid type linebacker players on this roster. And because we have a really loaded uh, secondary, we could see, you know, some of those guys play that big nickel linebacker. And then we still have guys that actually played pretty well in that first preseason game. You still have Mike Jones at that linebacker position. That's a depth piece. Um, you still have other guys that still could possibly make this team, the Nate Lammons of the world. So with that being said, man, you guys give me your thoughts on Michael Walker uh, being released. I do think that he'll eventually get picked up uh, possibly by another team. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see him sign with a team like the Dallas Cowboys because we know that Dan Quinn, uh, he was drafted by Dan Quinn's regime. And we know that Dan Quinn is known for, you know, picking up former players like the Tap McKinley's that he brought over to Dallas. Um, also signing Dante Fowler uh, to Dallas. So I wouldn't be surprised if the, the Cowboys maybe kick the tires on a player my, uh, like Michael Walker. But I do think in another scheme, uh, Michael Walker possibly could be a better player. But just in this Atlanta Falcons scheme, to be honest, I just think he, did, he just wasn't a scheme fit. Uh, but with that being said, 
This being your boy, Jew, I have a lot more content coming for you guys. But as always, Falcons Nation, uh, rise up, be blessed. Peace.